Hello, hello. Good night. How are you today, guys? How's everything? How are you? How was your day? Was it good? Hi guys. So, Le quiero decir que no voy a poner la cámara porque voy en camino. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, Consola, I got it. Thank you for letting me know. The rest of you guys, if you can, please uh, turn your cameras on. I will really like it. If you guys can turn the cameras on, that will be really cool. So that I'm I'm gonna be able to to see you, you know, to, to see that you are here on the class, you know, uh, you're connected. So that will be pretty good, actually. Okay. Um. So let's see. All right, guys. So do you have any question about yesterday's class or any of the topics that we started? You know, alguna pregunta sobre la última clase, alguno de los temas que hemos estado estudiando? Yes, no, could it be? Mm -hmm. Sobre las estaciones. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is es, es que la cosa es que, este, como cuando usted la dijo, no sé si fue que fue la señal, la cosa es que cuando usted vino a decir las estaciones, yo no las entendí ni sabía cuáles eran. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. O sea, porque no sabía de, de qué estaba hablando ni nada, porque no le había entendido que estaba en las estaciones. Hasta después entendí un poco de cuando está lluvioso y toda la cosa. Mm -hmm. The seasons. Uh -huh. Ok, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. I can help you with that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, for sure. So we got four seasons and I'm going to share my screen right now, just in a minute on it. It's, it's just loading right here. Okay. But uh, we have four seasons and let me share my screen here so you can see it. And so you can know what I'm talking about. Give me a second. All right. So here we go. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you for yes. confirming. Yes. Okay, so uh, we get the four seasons, right? Uh, so we got the weather and the season. Uh, the seasons, sorry. So the seasons are four, which are, uh, we talked about that yesterday as well, and day before yesterday. So we got spring, we got summer, we got um, fall, and we got winter. So those are the four seasons. Esas son las cuatro estaciones, right? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. These are the seasons. Y cuando hablamos del weather, el, el weather puede estar como warm, like very sunny, like a lot of sun, right? Or it can be raining, or it can be hot and humid. Or Weather can... es el estado, como el estado de tiempo. El clima. Mm -hmm. El clima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It can be cool, como está si está caliente, por ejemplo, si it's hot, you know, or si hay cold, si está como frío, if it is cold, you know, it's like very cold. Or if it is snowing, está lloviendo, nevando, snowing, uh, raining. Um, if it is cloudy, like a lot of a lot of clouds, you know, on the on the sky. Or if it is windy, like a lot of wind, you know, like and all that, right? So that's what we okay. have. Entonces, esas okay, son okay. las cuatro eh, estaciones. Spring, okay. summer, eh, fall, y winter. Cold. Mm -hmm. Y ya los demás, como warm, sunny, raining, eh, todo esto, lo de abajito, serían como um, el clima. El clima, como puede estar. Okay. Si puede estar. Ahí es donde yo no entendía. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok, yeah, no problem. So, like today, for example, today, it's kind of hot, 
por ejemplo, ahora está como medio caliente, al menos donde yo estoy. Uh -huh. I know hot, you know. So. Venga para estos lados, está más caliente todavía. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean that's that's what I say, you know, that's what I mean. But ah, uh -huh, that's what it is. So is it now? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Right. Give me one minute. One minute, one minute, please. I need to fix something. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, guys. Um, oh, let me just disconnect the chain. Any any other question? Question you have? No. No more questions. No hay más preguntas. Okay. Well, if you guys don't have any other question, um, let me just. Let me just do something here. Let me just stop sharing my screen. Um, all right, yeah, I'm not sharing, I think. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so that's what it is. No sé si tienen alguna otra pregunta, chicos, or anything else. Any other question? No? No more questions? Okay. Give me just a second here. Okay. gonna live like that. Okay. So I'm gonna take the attendance right now, guys. And uh, if you hear your name, just say present you know and then we will just continue with the rest of the class and things like that okay so this is what it is so today is the sixth right so all right so um aron omar thank you thank you uh, Ada Lisette? Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz? Present. Mm -hmm. um, Ana Esmeralda? Present. Ana Noemi? Present. Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Consuelo del Rosario. <laughs> Elida Melissa. <laughs> Flor de María. Presente, teacher. Me oyó, teacher. Yes, I got it. Gracias. Uh, Jasmine Magdalena. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ismael. Present. Jose Salvador. Thank you. Catherine Tatiana. Present. Katie Guadalupe. Oh, sorry, Kenny. Kenny Guadalupe. <laughs> no problem. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Marilyn Yvonne. Um, Marlene Concepcion. Present. Marvin Omar. Uh, Nidia Jamilet. I'm here. Hey, Nixia, Ivin. 
Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Omar Luzardo. I'm here. Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Uh, Reina. Lisette. Okay. Uh, Ricardo Alfonso. Rosario Cristabel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Wilber Enrique. Present. Yesenia Vigail. Present. Y Selena Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, thank you for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that. I, I mean, I really do a, a lot. I appreciate it a lot. So um, with that being said, so guys, we are going to continue right now uh, with the um, with the rest of the class right here. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to continue where we left off last class. And what it was, it was this right here. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so yesterday, if you guys remember, we were talking about what? The present continuous, right? The present continuous statement. And um, it's also what we called, uh, I mean, affirmative sentences and negative uh, sentences, right? Like negative statements. So that's what we were talking about. Y la tarea de ustedes era chequear la estructura, aprenderla, ¿cierto? Que no, que nos quedara ahí como claro. Pero si ustedes tienen preguntas sobre eso, pregúntenme, por favor. You can ask me right now. Porque sí es importante que, que no tengamos ninguna duda sobre eso antes de pasar a las just no questions with the present continuous. So, any question about that, guys? No questions? A mí me, pa a mí me pasó que, que no... Eh, las ponía pero como no las abreviaba o sea las contactaba en la ajá las contactaba entonces no me las agarraba uh -huh. y pues de hecho pedí ayuda ahí a unos compañeros y, y gracias a los que me uh -huh. me corroboraron ahí para poder entenderle ok ok yeah no problem no problem that's pretty good that you guys are helping each other you know that's awesome ok but uh, besides that um, do you have any, any, any question or, I mean, is that clear? What do you think? No questions about this? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, clarito, como el cafecito? <laughs> yeah? No? Okay. <laughs> Lisa le daba, pregúntenme si tienen preguntas, por favor. <laughs> Ask me if you have questions. Es que está peor que el café, profe. <laughs> Okay, no, no me aflija. No, don't tell me that. Con, con, es que con tanto de que el adjetivo, el pronombre, yo que no sabía ni un pepino de inglés, entonces más me enchibulo todo. Pero ahí voy, ahí voy. Le, de tarea, le, le, escriba, aprende entonces los pronombres okay. personales. Mm -hmm. Personal, I mean, son personal pronouns or subject pronouns is lo mismo is the same el verb to be the verb to be también mm -hmm. y cómo conjugar esos esos dos okay okay mm -hmm. um vaya una vez usted se aprenda eso va a lograr comprender un poquito más lo demás okay eh O sea, si usted sabe usar el verb to be, eh, lo demás no se le va a complicar porque prácticamente seguimos ahorita usando el verb to be para, para los tenses que estamos viendo. 
Pues sí, porque para hacer la tarea me va el traductor y yo el, estoy usando qué, yo, qué, qué quiere decir aquí. Bueno, hoy tuve que pedir, eh, me tiré dos horas en el trabajo y, 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 y me dio no sé qué también, ¿va? porque pues no todos los, los jefes son muy condescendientes, pero pues ya por último me hice goles y hasta la cabeza me dolió y pedí ayuda ahí a los compañeros porque pues yo sabía que había que entregar la tarea hoy. Vea, esto, esto es, es normal hasta cierto punto, le puedo decir, porque, o sea, pues uno, a mí me pasó igual, o sea, yo cuando comencé era como que no había nada, ¿va? pero, o sea, es normal, de repente nos vamos a topar con cosas que no sabemos qué significan, entonces, cuando sea así, pues ni modo, hay que buscar el significado porque no vamos a ir adivinando, que, verdad, lo que quiere decir una cosa y después otra cosa, ¿no? A eso sí. Hay que llevar, por ejemplo, una libretita ahí de, de vocabulario. Uh -huh. Entonces, escribiendo esta palabra. Ok, esta ya la busqué una vez, la pongo aquí. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué significa? Y si puede hacer un ejemplo de una oración también, eso le va a ayudar para que se le quede el significado. Y así va, de verdad. Tengan un cuadernito para, para vocabulario, cada palabra que ustedes vayan buscando. Y de repente van a tener un gran banco de palabras que la idea es que no solo las vayan escribiendo, sino que vayamos tratando de que se nos queden, ¿va? de hacer oraciones, preguntas, para que se nos quede significado y cómo usarlo. Pero es normal, I mean, it's normal. De hecho, o sea, es normal que ustedes no sepan cómo decir cosas, pero hay que buscarlas y tratar de, de que se nos queden también, ¿verdad? So, das ¿y cómo va a ser eso? Bueno, una de las cosas que les dije ya, ir anotando ahí, tener un cuaderno de vocabulario, pero también practice. You have to practice that. Mire, usted solito, usted solita, póngase a hacer oraciones, cómo se diría esto, cómo se hace esto, ahí enfrente del espejo, se ríe usted solo. Ok, so, <laughs> that's what you have to do. Ok. Ok, thank you. <laughs> no es broma, yo lo hacía, de verdad. <laughs> so, if I did it, you can do it, ok? So, that's what it is. Ok, uh, all right. So, Uh, then, guys, let's continue with the uh, with the next part right here, which is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, right here. So just remember the structure, guys. We have uh, right here the, you know, like, um, I would say like the structure that we need to follow to make sentences. We need the subject. We need the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Por eso le decía, mire, necesitamos el sujeto, después el verbo to be. Y después que necesitamos solo el verbo en ING y después el complemento. Entonces, el, el, los subject pronouns y el verb to be es algo que vamos a seguir usando por un ratito todavía. ¿okay? Entonces, esa es la base de todo. Si ustedes comprenden how to use the verb to be, cómo hacer uh, preguntas, eh, negative and affirmative sentences with the verb to be, van bien, porque esa es la base. That's the base. That's what you need to understand. And then you'll get it, okay? So that's what we know. That's what we have right here, okay? And so, guys, uh, today we have right here the adjective. And the adjective for today, it says that by the end of this class, you will be able to confirm uh, yes, no questions in the present continuous, okay? So we need to remember that, okay? So we need to remember the, uh, oops, my bad. We need to remember the affirmative uh, sentences with the, um, with the, um, I would say present continuous. So for example, I'm gonna write something here. Give me a second. And I just need to do this little recap. Okay, we got the present conti, uh, oops, it's just, We got a present, present continuous, okay? So now we got the affirmative sentences. Affirmative, right? We got negative for now. And affirmative, it will be something like saying, um, I'm talking right now, okay? Or I can say, I'm wearing a blue shirt right now okay i'm wearing a blue um uh, 
shirt right now. Okay? Now, this is actually affirmative. Okay? Now, how can we make it negative? How can I make this sentence negative? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Who tells me? How can I make it negative? Any volunteer? I'm don't taking right now. I am not. I am not. Uh huh. I am not taking. Not uh, sorry. Talking. Talking right now. I am not talking <laughs> right now. What is it that we do? ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Solo le agregamos not. After what? Después de qué? Del verbo to be. ¿Y cuál es el verbo to be? Bueno, aquí es donde tenemos que saber cuál es el verbo to be. Tenemos tres formas, right? Am, is, and are. So, we just add not after the verb to be. What about this one? What about here? Now, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say she instead of that. She is. Okay. So, what about in this one? How can I make it negative? Let's see. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. So first we need to uh, identify what's the verb to be. And the verb to be is is. So she is She's not. not wearing a blue shirt right now. Boom. That's it. That's everything. Entonces, you just need to follow the structure. Subject, verb to be, the verb in ing, okay? And the complement. Y si quieren hacer la negative, solo agregamos not after the verb to be. Right? That's it. Questions about that, guys? Right now, ¿qué significa, teacher? Right, right now, now is like um, ahorita mismo. Mm -hmm. Like uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Any other question? No. Estamos bien ahí con la structure entonces? Yes. Yeah. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan cómo se hace una pregunta con el una yes no question with the verb to be? Who can tell me one yes no question with the verb to be? Are you? Uh -huh. Are you what? Can you uh, can you say the complete sentence, the complete question? Mm, are you a student? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a very nice question. Okay, so are you a student? Are you a student? ¿Y cómo podemos pasar esto a una oración afirmativa? ¿Cómo sería en afirmativa? You are a student. You are a student. You are a student. You are a student. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What's the difference between this one and this one? What's the difference between these two? The, mm -hmm. the to be the beginning. Okay. The verb to be. Mm -hmm. About the question. Okay, okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> In affirmative, so, and the sentence, um, the verb to be like second. Mm -hmm. It goes second. Mm -hmm. And in the question, it goes first, right? So, good job, good job, Joanna. Yes, that's what it is. So, fíjense, el único cambio acá es la posición del verb to be. Okay? So, then, in affirmative sentences, it goes the second in the second place after the subject. But in questions, it actually goes at the beginning, in the first position. ¿Y saben qué? El negativo, ¿cómo sería ahí, teacher? Ah, eh, en negativo affirmative sería, you are not a student. Mm -hmm. So we, we just have to add not after the verb to be. Okay? Y teachers se pueden hacer preguntas negativas también. Sí se puede. 
pero no es muy común. Yeah. Aunque a veces sí, hicimos, sí lo hacemos, bueno, por ejemplo. Um, aren't, you, aren't you a student? No, eres, no supongo un estudiante. Aren't you a student? Pero we don't normally say that. But yes, it can be. Okay. But, y si se, fij si se fijan, siempre la palabra not va después de qué? Del verb to be. Okay. Verb to be. Right. But again, it's not common. We don't really do it. We don't really talk like that most of the times. Um, okay. Or sometimes we do. ¿Por qué les estoy diciendo esto? Why am I saying this? Porque la forma para hacer una pregunta con el present uh, continuous is the same way. Same way as the we do with the, with the questions right here. With, I mean, with the just now questions. So for example, this one. How can I turn it to um to a question then? Just no question. Okay. So how can I turn this to a question? ¿Cómo hago esta una pregunta? How can I turn this into a question? Is she wearing a blue shirt right now? Exactly. Es lo mismo que hacemos con el verbo to be. Vamos a hacer aquí. Por eso les digo y les repito, si ustedes saben manejar el verb to be desde un principio, todo lo demás no les va a costar, porque es la base. ¿eh? Is she wearing a blue shirt right now? Y claro, para que sea pregunta, hay que agregarle signo de pregunta, right? So, is she wearing a blue shirt right now? Boom, that's it. Eso es todo. That's it, nothing else. No les voy a dar una explicación bien astral si no amerito una explicación bien astral. O sea, it, that's what it is. Eso es lo que es. I mean, that's it. You know, you don't need anything else. And of course, because it's a yes, no question, it has two answers. Which are the answers for this? Mm -hmm. Which are the two answers for the yes, no questions? Who can tell me? Nobody? Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, she is waiting now. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. No. Or no. Come on. Some just no questions. Sorry. Some just no questions. Tenemos dos tipos de respuestas. Que sería yes or no. And that's it, right? Ojo, hay que fijarnos por el sujeto, porque si yo le pregunto a, a Catherine ahorita, hey, Catherine, is she wearing a blue shirt right now? Y Catherine me dice, yes, I am. Mm -mm. <laughs> no le estoy preguntando por usted, le estoy preguntando por she, right? So, por eso hay que prestar atención al subject. Uh -huh. Okay, so, it's, solo es un ejemplo, okay? It's just an example. So, then we can say, yes, she is. Or we can say, no. She isn't. No, she isn't. Boom. That's it. That's everything. Okay. <clears throat> In order to continue with this, let me play the video so you can watch the video as well and we can have some extra explanation. Okay. So here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you the 
verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, uh, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. Okay. After you have finished, <clears throat> go ahead and share your work in our discussion <clears throat> forums. Okay, so that's what it is, guys. So it's pretty much what he was explaining is, I mean, it's just what I explained to you. Entonces, ustedes, si ustedes aprendieron a hacer las affirmative sentences yesterday, no es como que tengan que memorarse, memorizarse una nueva estructura, sino que simplemente usted sabe que pasa el verbo to be al principio y agrega el, el uh, question mark at the end. Yeah, tiene una just now question. Mm -hmm. And you have una just now question with the present continuous. So, that's pretty much what it is. So, do you have a question about that, guys? Questions about how to ask, or I mean, how to do just now questions with a verb to be? I'm sorry, with the present continuous, my bad. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Y en vez de decir is she, eh, si digamos, un ejemplo, hacia la sala. Mm -hmm. Este, es para decir, bueno, perdón, es is she wearing bot? O bat, no sé si me corrigen eso, bot, bot, va, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces se podría decir is, un ejemplo, un nombre hacia la sala, is Catherine wearing bot? Yes. Yes, 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 you can. Porque es un subject pronoun, entonces el subject pronoun puede ser, uh, usted lo puede, lo puede cambiar. O sea, aquí en lugar de she no, o en lugar de he, nosotros podemos poner el nombre de alguien. Podemos poner Juan, Lupita, qué sé yo, cualquier nombre que se le, le venga a la mente, Saturnino, no sé. Ah, okay. 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 So, um, Gracias. Ajá, sí, el nombre usted lo cambia, el nombre usted lo cambia, ok. Eh, claro, Juan que es es un él, ¿verdad? Entonces es él, right? Entonces solo acordémonos que con he, she, it usamos is, ¿verdad? Entonces si tenemos en mente ponemos Juan ahí porque a veces el dilema es, por ejemplo, yo puedo poner acá Juan en Pedro are wearing boots. Ok, pero a veces cuando nos dan, nos dan que completemos acá el espacio del verb to be, no sabemos qué poner, porque decimos Juan y Pedro, ok, ah, pero acuérdense, son dos personas, a veces ponemos is, ¿verdad? pero no es is, porque estamos hablando de dos personas, entonces Juan y Pedro son quienes, son uh -huh. They, right? They. 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 Ajá, y entonces nosotros nos acordamos. Ah, no, hombre, sí, con they, yo me acuerdo que tengo que usar are, ¿ok? 
Entonces ahí, este day está siendo reemplazado, it's been replaced by Juan en Pedro. O sea, es lo mismo que yo acá en lugar de escribir todo esto, ponga day. Sorry, day. But then it's going to be they are. They are wearing boots. Okay. Same thing. Ahora, yo puedo decir they si de repente yo con, ya con José ya tenemos ratito de estar hablando de ellos dos y ya me digo they, solo digo ellos y me estoy refiriendo a ellos. Entonces, es eh, obvio que me estoy refiriendo a ellos dos. Pero si yo de la nada vengo y le digo, José, they are wearing boots, José se va a quedar así como, ¿qué, qué, 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 qué pasa aquí? ¿De quién está hablando? ¿De qué me perdí? Entonces ahí para que él me entienda, en lugar de decir they, yo mejor le digo los nombres. Okay. Yo le digo, Juan y Pedro are wearing boots. Ya me va a entender de una vez. ¿no? Entonces, cuando hay antecedentes, sí, podemos decir solo they. Pero cuando queremos ser más claros, si usted quiere, diga los nombres de una vez. Right? Say the name o él o los nombres. The name o, I mean, the names. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's a nice question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question about that? No? Yes? Sí. Teacher, y ahí donde dice, dice, Juan is not wearing a blue, sería teacher. Um, no, but la shirt es esta. La t-shirt es camiseta. Hola. So we can say, Shirt, like this. Si fuese camiseta, si sería T-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question, guys? Okay. Okay, so, si no tienen preguntas, yo sí tengo preguntas para ustedes. <laughs> si no me preguntan, les pregunto yo. <laughs> okay, if you don't have a question, I'm going to ask you a question, guys. And so this is what I want to show you. Okay. Okay. So here we have actually 12 questions and it says, is Claire wearing a green suit? So what I want you to do is this. I'm going to ask a question to one of you guys. As I said, como les decía ahora, vamos a tener un poquito de speaking, una speaking activity right now. Okay, so, and what we're going to do is that we're going to practice with these questions. Eh, si ustedes tienen sus dispositivos y tienen a la mano ahí el, el material, váyanse al material acá, a esta página. De, de, donde está, it's 26 actually donde están ellos cuatro I mean, that's four pictures one, two, three, and four why? porque en base a eso nos vamos a hacer unas preguntas ahorita estas preguntas so yo le voy a preguntar a Catherine Catherine, is Claire wearing a green suit? Catherine me va a responder sí o sí no. <laughs> y después ella le va a preguntar a alguien más so she's going to ask somebody else y nos vamos a ir así, ¿ok? Until we finish the 12 questions. Is that, is that correct? I mean, is that okay? You, do you understand that? Yes? We got it? Yes? Okay, so Catherine, is Claire wearing a green suit? Well, in my case, um, I don't have my manual. Okay, but I'm showing but, you. Okay, yes, she is. Okay, that is a short answer. Esa es una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Yes, she is. Y boom, ya me respondió. Si hay quiere agregarle más, puede decir, yes, she is. Ahí se acaba. Yes, she is. Es como decir, sí, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, lo está usando. Pero si usted quiere agregarle más, entonces puede hacerlo en dos partes. Puede decir, yes, she is. Boom. Y después, si usted quiere seguir, she is wearing a green suit. Boom. 
That's it. If you want. Pero normalmente con esto, you will be fine. Pero si quiere agregarle más, you can say the, the whole sentence once again. Okay, Catherine. So do me a favor. Ask the next question, please. Number two, ask the question to one of your classmates. Okay. And Omar Lezardo, is she wearing a raincoat? We're still talking. No, about she that. isn't. No, she isn't. Okay. Keep going, Omar, please. Uh, continue? Yes, continue. Ask the next question. Así nos vamos a ir. Usted responde la pregunta y después le pregunta a alguien más y así sucesivamente hasta que nos acabemos las dos. The 12 questions. Ok, entonces. Yeah, no. So, entonces. Uh, Joana, uh, Joana Guadalupe. <laughs> Is she wearing high heels? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. um, the question a uh, Carlos. To Carlos? To Carlos? Carlos Vladimir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it to Carlos, a Carlos. It's going to like. The question are Toshi and Noriko wearing swing swing suits? Swing suits. Mm. No, they're not. Good job. Mm -hmm. Number four. Me toca ahora. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Number four. Are they wearing short? Um, Wilber Enrique Are they wearing shorts? Um eh, no they are no they not the answer is okay just that you're lying to us. La respuesta está bien. Solo que no uh, entiendo. Así como ella. <laughs> no nos mienta. Vea, aquí está, mire. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que no tengo mucho acceso a mi... Al material, ok. Uh -huh. ver, son esos dos chicos de acá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... Yes. They are... Yes. Um, yes. They are. Uh, uh, se me, se me olvidó. They are. They are. Yes, ah. they are. Uh. Uh -huh. uh, yo tengo una pregunta, profe. Uh -huh. y cuando se, eh, para, no sé si puede bajar la, la S, exactamente S. Uh, ¿a, ¿A dónde están las preguntas? Uh -huh. de, de las preguntas que van haciendo ahorita. Vaya. Ah, um, eso, eso. They are, cuando lo se, se usa la contracción, no tengo muy clara la pronunciación de eso. Es como there, there. There. Ajá, there. Y o de sea, hecho, omito, omito la I. Ajá, just like there. Mm -hmm. There. Ah, bueno, sí, esa there. era una pregunta. No, yeah. it's a good okay. question. It's a good question. Y de hecho, chicos, eh, cuando damos respuestas afirmativas, no usamos contracciones. Uh, bueno, um, por ejemplo, are you, si le pregunto ahorita a Aaron, uh, are you Aaron Omar Montoya? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We don't say yes, I'm. Mm -mm. Okay. So decimos yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Y ahorita que, que Wilber me, me hizo esa pregunta, eh, es un buen momento y, y quería explicarles esto también. O sea, 
no vamos, cuando le damos afirmaciones, perdón, cuando le damos respuestas afirmativas a una just now question or type of questions like that, no usamos contractions, ¿ok? So ahí, sin, ahí es no usamos contractions, ¿ok? Por no vamos a decir yes I'm, um, no, we have to say yes I am, yes we are, mm -hmm. yes they are, ¿ok? ¿Ok? So just keep that in mind, solo mantengan eso en mente, please. Okay, Wilbur, continue. Okay. Uh, pero ahorita. Pero, quiero ver. Number um, six. Six. Uh, Jose Ismael Vázquez. Um, number six. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, are they wearing sunglasses? Sunglasses? Sunglasses. Are they wearing sunglasses? No le encuentro para responderle. Yeah, it's this one, this one right here. We're talking about Toshi and Noriko. Toshi. Mm -hmm. This too. section teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, estamos en el en el material ahorita. Yes, in the unit four, if I'm not mistaken. Pero yo estoy presentando mi pantalla. No sé si puede verla. Sí. Ajá. Vaya, son estos dos chicos de acá. Toshi en Noriko. Vaya. Me puede repetir. The question, yeah, for sure. Uh, Wilbur. Okay. Are they wearing sunglasses? Mm -hmm. Are they wearing sunglasses? Not. She is not. Okay. Try once again. Try once again. Can you repeat the question, Wilbur? Repeat the question, please. Are they... Uh, are they wearing sunglasses? Okay. Are they... No, no are, no are, they not. Mm -hmm. It will be like, it will be better to say, no, they are not. Or no, they're they not. Are not. Mm -hmm. They are not. Uh -huh. Thank It'll you. better if you say it that way. Mm -hmm. That will be the correct way. Okay. Yes, thank you. Now you, Jose, ask the next question, please. Number seven. Excuse me, teacher. Sorry, uh, what's your question, Nidia? Podemos responder, are not wearing? They are not wearing? No. It would be. It, uh, sería como le decía yo a José ahorita. No, they are not. Or, no, they're not. Contracted or not contracted. Ya si después usted dar dar esa respuesta, usted quiere decir que no, no está usando eso, ahí ya puede volver a decir la oración y sería, no, uh, they are not wearing sunglasses. Como el ejemplo que les puse acá. Like the example I just put right here. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, are they wearing boots? Usted puede decir, no, they're not. Y después si usted quiere, oh, acá, yes, she is. Después podemos responder, She is wearing a green suit. Si quiere dar más, si quiere darle más larga, right? Mm -hmm. But just with this, like that, it will be good. All right, let's continue, Jose. Ask question number seven to one of your classmates, please. Para Flor de María. Is Pierre wearing gray pants? No, she is not wearing gray pants. Okay, good job. No, she is not wearing gray pants. It's okay if you want to say it like that as well. Okay, and we are talking about Phil. Okay, 
is Phil wearing gray pants? That's what it said. And I don't know if they're gray. I think they are gray. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's let's say that it's not great. Let's say that it's not great. Okay. So yes, okay. that's the way you uh, that's the way you answer. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Now you ask question number eight, please. Uh, Jose Ismael. Sí. Is he wearing a brown shirt? Is he wearing a brown shirt? Mm -hmm. Oh, but Flor de Maria, can you ask somebody else, please? Um, ya le hemos preguntado a José Ismael. So let's ask somebody else, please. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. eh, sería entonces con Nidia y Amile. Digamos, tu Nidia, que es como decir a Nidia, tu Nidia. Hay que hablar lo menos en común posible. <ríe> tu Nidia. Uh -huh. Tu Nidia, is he wearing a brown shirt? A brown yes. shirt. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Good job. Now you, Nidia, go with the next one. Um, one moment, please. Uh, no puedo ver quiénes están uh to let's ask to jonathan jonathan guillen él quiere que le pregunten dice ya me dijo okay. he told me <laughs> okay is he wearing a tie jonathan guillen mostrar la imagen de tu clases. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Good job, Jonathan. Now you ask a question to somebody else. Number 10. Tu, tu Omar Luzardo, is Katy wearing boots? No, she isn't. Okay, is Kathy wearing boots? And is, no, she isn't. Thank you so much, Omar. Now you ask somebody else, please. Eleven. Your, your microphone is off, Omar. Nixia, is she wearing a coat? Is she wearing a coat? Nixia. Moment, please. Okay. <laughs> Repeat a question. Oh. Uh, is she wearing a coat? Is she wearing a um. coat? Mm -hmm. Yes, a wedding. Is this one? Is she wearing a coat? Mm -hmm. sorry don't worry don't worry that's okay that's okay so 
is she wearing? Nos están preguntando por she. Y aquí tenemos a la Kathy. <laughs> okay. So we got Kathy here. Is she wearing a coat? Mm -hmm. Acordémonos. Tenemos dos posibles respuestas para esta pregunta. They are called yes, no questions. So we have two answers. Yes or no. So what's the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. She is wearing. Yes. We can say yes, she is. Mm -hmm. she Okay, or we can say no, she is not, or no, she isn't. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what is what is a coat? What oh, is a coat? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry, we're learning. Uh -huh. Entonces, does somebody want to help her? You can help. Mm -hmm. What's the answer, guys? What is the answer? Who's got the answer? Anyone? Any volunteer? No, she's yes, not. She is abrigo. No, she is not. Yeah, coat is abrigo, yes. And so, no, she is not. Okay? It's okay. Así que no, no está usando un abrigo, la Katy. Vean, aquí va. Se lo lleva un... Como un um, camisa, suéter, <laughs> camisa manga larga. I don't know how you call it in Spanish, but it's a sweatshirt right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, uh, now, Nixia, ask question number 12 to one of your classmates, please. Jonathan Guillén. Uh, ya le preguntamos a Jonathan Elijamos a alguien que no le hayamos preguntado Let's choose somebody that hasn't been Asked mm -hmm. José Ismael También <laughs> We got him <laughs> uh, to Ana Flores Ok, now yes mm -hmm. Ah Perdón, pero ¿cuál sería allí si termina la eh, que me hizo a mí? La 12 le toca a usted preguntarle a alguien. Okay. Number 12. Is she wearing a hat in gloves? Hat in gloves. Mm -hmm. Ana Flores, are you here? Hello, hello. Hello, it's me. No? <laughs> hello from the other side. <laughs> Ana Ana, hello, hello. Hello from the other side. No? Yes. ¿Cuál Ana sería? Hay tres Ana. ¿Cuál Ana es? Ana Flores. Ah, sí soy. Sí soy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> In English. <laughs> okay. So, Ana Flores, go for it. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm okay. Hi. Hi, okay. hay tres Anas, entonces. <laughs> sí, no, Por eso okay, me pierdo. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. No, pero Nixia sí creo que dijo Ana Flores. Creo. I think so. Yes. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Es que yo ah, como se dice, ah, sorry, no le, no le entendí, por eso me quedé. Okay. Y nosotros está cantándole ya, bueno, yo. <laughs> okay, so, Ana, mm -hmm. Nixia, can you, can you repeat the question, please, Nixia? No, okay. Is she wearing a hat and gloves? Ana Flores. Ay, se puede repetir. Yes. No le entendí. Yes. Is she wearing a hat and gloves? No. 
Y le respondo. Mm -hmm. Do you have two answers? Do you have either yes or no? We're talking about Kathy right here. <laughs> um, I'm not speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but remember, we have two answers, okay? Recordemos, tenemos dos tipos de, pre de respuestas. <clears throat> How would it be? Mm -hmm. Aaron, can you help us? Yes, she is. Yes, she, she is, is, right? So remember, para las yes no questions, tenemos dos tipos de respuestas, ya sea yes o no. Por eso se llaman yes no questions. That's why they are called yes no questions. So we can say yes, she is, or no, she isn't. And that's what it is, right? That's pretty much what it is. Okay, guys, we weren't able to do like the practice right here, but uh, just remember the structure and you should be fine. Basically right here, uh, what you have to do is that you have to look at the image below and answer the questions with short answers. For example, is Bruce wearing a light gray jacket? What do you think? Mm -hmm. This is Bruce. So? Yes, he is. Mm, I don't know if it is light green, but let's see. Let's see if we say yes, he is. Oops, my bad. If I say yes, yes, he is, right? Let's see. Okay, and no. So, it's not. Sí, es que se ve como oscurita. Entonces, por eso. So, Yo lo contesté. Eh, yes, ¿Ah? he is. Y me salió, bueno, quizá era no, he's not. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. Let's try this way. Probably I just left another space, you know? So. Yes. Es la coma. La coma, teacher, que le agrega. Yes. Tiene que llevar coma. He has to, he has to have a coma. Pero la respuesta, bueno, aparece correcta sin coma. Really? Entonces está mala. Porque y no minúscula. Tendría, ajá, no, tendría que, tendría que hacer mayúscula y con coma. Let's see. Yes, he is. Yes, yes. No way. Esto no está correcto, chicos. <laughs> It is not correct. Okay. So voy a reportarlo porque tiene que llevar coma. Yes, he is. Yo también creo que a lo mejor y la coma no la toman en cuenta. Vean, y si no me creen, créanle aquí el manual. Miren. <laughs> Quizá miren. Yes, coma, she is. He is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to report that. Okay, yeah. It's good that we're checking that. Bueno, so let's work it out. I'm going to report it right now. A, and if you have questions, you can just uh, ask them on the group, okay? A, remember, this is what you have to have for uh, this uh, for for this week, okay? So, así que chicos, nos veríamos hasta uh, next week on Monday, okay? So, if you drink, don't drive, okay? Don't drive, all right? <laughs> nice weekend, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.